Hey, entrepreneur and accounting friends. Uh, Matt Audette here. I wanted to try out this new waveapps.com. It's a free accounting uh, QuickBooks online like software uh, to see if it would be a viable accounting alternative to save on, on, uh, on QuickBooks. I was thinking about migrating over. And uh, anyways, I figured out a way to uh, export my transactions from QuickBooks. It's a little bit different than, well, quite a bit different than the Wave Apps walkthrough, uh, which may be better for you. I don't know, probably worth checking out. But here's uh, the easiest way for me. Uh, so what I do is I go to Transactions here, Chart of Accounts. And for instance, so I wanted to test with my Amazon business, Raku Cutlery. So let's go down to Raku Cutlery Visa. I click this little down arrow next to View Register. And I say Run Report. Okay, now here's, here's one of the tricks you gotta be careful of. If you want all of your transactions, which I do, I want to be able to run reports for years past and all that, click here and say All Dates. And then you gotta click Run Report again. Now you can say export to either one should work here. I haven't tried this on Google Docs. Fortunately, I have Excel. Um, and you got to do a little trickery with Excel because Excel stores dates kind of funny. Uh, they store them. It stores it as a as a weird number on the back end. It shows the right date here, but uh, if I select all these and say format cells. Watch what happens if I, oh, here it's it's behaving this time. I guess it's uh, just cause Excel's a little goofy on Mac. Um, anyway, so what I wanna do is I wanna delete this row. So we just have the table to focus on to import into uh, the new accounting software. And this should work with any accounting software uh, that accept, accepts CSV files. I'm going to copy this. Copy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a new file, new workbook. I'm going to, so it's a blank workbook. I have the table on my clipboard. I'm going to say with this new workbook, I'm going to say save as. You can name it whatever you want. But here, you need to save it as a CSV file. Save. Yeah, we can replace that. And here it gives you a little warning saying, uh, blah, blah, blah. You say, yeah, continue. And then here, we paste. Now, see, here's, here's the tricky part. So th here's how... Excel stores dates on its back end as these 44 or 42,000 numbers for uh, 2015 dates. Uh, so, what we can do, here's what we're going to do we're going to copy all these dates from the original, copy, and then we'll just paste them to the new one. Okay. And the reason for this is we need the uh, we need zeros in front of single digit dates, like 03 for March, 05 for the 5th. Um, for This is specific to Wave Apps. Maybe the other accounting softwares are smart enough to import uh, just 3 slash 5. Um, okay, now that we have this CSV file, we're going to save it. It gives you a warning saying blah, blah, blah about formats uh, since it's CSV. You say continue. Um, and we go over to the new accounting software. For me, it's Wave Apps. Uh, so I go to Transactions, upload a bank, bank statement. I'm going to say for Raku Cutlery Visa, choose the file. And here it's this latest Workbook 1 CSV. Say upload, and then it, it 
it's pretty smart about guessing which column was which. So C says, you know, you can, it says uh, the date's here, confirm date. Select charges. So it's guessing that these are the charges and this is, this is the balance. So we don't want to select that. So yes, it guessed correctly, confirm charges. And select description. So for me, uh, I wanted name as the description to make it easy to to tell who the the transactions are going to and from. So select description, and then as the final saying what it's actually importing, you say upload my statement, and you're you're good to go. Hope this helped.